Hey guys, El Flamingo here, your coach of the Cooper and Crab Hammers. Today we have week nine of the Great Lakes Draft League. Uh, we're up against uh, Ryan uh, and the Boston Breelooms. Uh, let's go through his team. Uh, he has the Latios and Clefable as his tier ones. He has Nido King, Magnazone, Araquanid, Mimikyu, Surfetch, Toracat, Unpheasant, Deli Bird and Spiritomb. So, who do I think he's bringing today? <clears throat> I think he's uh, at top six mon. Uh, are probably really good into my team, particularly the the Nido King and Araquanid. So, I think these two are very uh, definitely coming. Um, I definitely think Clefable's coming as well. Um, if Araquanid's coming, then I also see Mimikyu coming, and and Magnazone just completely. Uh, Walls, um, uh, Togekiss, uh, with super effective attacks from Flash Cannon and Thunderbolt. The only one that was probably a bit up in the air is Latios. I could see one of his other mons like uh, Toracat or Surfetch coming, maybe even Spiritomb. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think um, it'll at least be this far. It'll at least be uh, Clefable, Magnazone, Mimikyu, Araquanid, and Nido King. Nido King's kind of free into my team. Um, so I could see that coming with a choice scarf or something. Um, Latias, I'm not 100% sure about. It's not super good into my team, but it's his like, best offensive option. So let's have a look at my team. This is my team here. Um, so we're going some pretty odd stuff. Actually, I'll bring up the actual team builder. Here we go here. This is better. All right, so we're going the Tangaberry Lorantis to help deal with the Araquanid, okay? Running Protect, Worry Seed, Superpower, and Leaf Blade. Worry Seed is to get rid of that Water Bubble ability, so it does, uh, it halves its damage straight up, but also I can get a Will-O-Wisp on it if need be with the Alolan Marowak. Um, Running 236 HP, 84 defense, uh, 188 spadef because switch. this is my only water switch in, um, or water resist, I should say, but it still takes a big chunk from Max Geyser um, from the Araquanid. So, yeah, I just wanted to put a bit more in defense. This was originally an attack, um, the defense investment, but I just needed that extra defense to help um, get past uh, the big liquid... Uh, Max guys is coming from um, uh, Araquanid. Next we have the Hitmon top with the Widelands running uh, 252 HP, 108 attack, 108 defense, 36 spadef and 4 speed with fake out, close combat, triple axle and helping hand with a careful nature. The Widelands just lets me get uh, more hits with that triple axle. Um, not a huge damage dealer this week but that little that bit of attack investment really helps um, uh, Take uh, to take at least 50% from some of his mons. Um, next, we have the Mandibuzz coming for its first time. Bit of an offensive Mandibuzz running 236 HP, 116 attack, 148 defense, 4 speed F, and 4 speed with, sna uh, with Impish Nature, with Snarl, Knockoff, Brave Bird, and Bone Rush. Um, next, we have the Togekiss running the. We've got Crit Kiss coming back with Protect Follow Me. Uh, and then Air Slash and Dazzling Gleam, running 108 HP, 4 Defense, 244 Special Attack, 4 Special Defense, and 148 Speed. This will let me outspeed Latios after I get a Max Airstream up, be it from the Togekiss or the Mandibus, because this, this is actually quite a good Max option, especially if I can get it next to the Hitmon top. Um, Marowak, uh, running the Thick Club, of course, with the Lightning Rod ability, just if he brings that Magnazone. Running Detect, Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Bone, and Fire Punch. Um, uh, 15 speed EVs lets me, I think, under speed, uh, like a min speed uh, surfetched. Um, so if I do get Trick Room up or Trick Room goes up, I'm going to be able to outspeed it in Trick Room. Um, next, we have the Stack Attacker with the Focus Sash running the um, Lonely Nature. So I, with 17 defense. Uh, IV so I can get the attack boost. Um, running Trick Room, Heavy Slam, Rock Blast, and High Horsepower. I think a is going to be bringing Wide Guard today because I do a lot of Expanding Force and Dazzling Gleam spam. 
So I would not be surprised to see that um, wide guard come. So I'm running Rock Blast instead of Rock Slide. This will also help with the Mimikyu. I can break its disguise and then get some more hits off. Uh, likewise with the Bone Rush, I can break the disguise and then get more hits off. So that's my team. I'm going to get in contact with uh, uh, Ryan and we will do this. All right, so we're back. We've hooked up with Ryan. Let's see what he's bringing. So he's got the Latios. He has the Tauracat. He has Nido King, which we really expected. He has the... So he hasn't got Mimikyu. This could be nice. Um, he's got Spiritomb. So I can see some burns. He's got Magnazone. And he's got a Raquanid. Okay. So, let's think about this. Um, so my original plan was um, Togekiss and uh, Mandibuzz with uh, Marowak and Hitmontop in the back. See how that goes first, and then I can mix it up game two and bring in the Stacker or the Lorantis. Okay. Uh, Togekiss, that does pretty good into three of his mons. Mandibuzz does good into a few of his mons. Okay, let's go with that. All right, good luck to my man Ryan, not bringing the Clefable. Big call. Big, 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 big call. How does he deal with Trick Room then? Toracat Spiritone. Don't mind if I do. It's a pretty passive lead for him. So I might just go protect and get some chip off onto the Toracat. This Toracat's going to be quite annoying. So I'm quite physically offensive this week, so burns aren't going to be nice. Damn it. What's he going to go? Snarl. Okay, so I don't really see why I wouldn't just... Fire off a knockoff. So I think I'll save the Togekiss. Because obviously he's got something in the back that doesn't want to be taking hits from the Togekiss. So if I get my Hitmon top out. Cool. Hopefully I get a snarl. Oh no, I was going for knockoff. Hopefully I knock off a good item. Nido King. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Papaya Berry. Taunt. I've got a salt vest. I don't have any of those moves. All right. So might fire a triple axel off and a uh, and a snarl. So he's expecting the Indeedy, which so was I kind of. Damn it! That's fine. 
I'm not too concerned about that. So I'll still fire a triple axle off here. And I think I'll fire a bone rush off as well. <laughs> Wish I had U-turn. I did have U-turn originally on. Oh no, I didn't. Oh yeah, I had U-turn on uh, Mandibuzz originally. That'd be it's very useful. If I can just get more chip on this Nido King, I'd be very happy. Like, I really don't care if you keep dropping my attack. Wasn't jab, physical. Okay. Two. Oh, crit. Good. Four. Five. Oh, I got all five. One. Two. Come on, get the KO. Three. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Top. KO. Neato. Raquinid. Alright, so I don't really... So I might bring in the uh, Marowak and I might fire off a knockoff against the Araquinid. I'm okay letting this go down. To got in the back so feel it. I'm kind of leaving him with all my friends are dead syndrome. Okay, fake out. Next guys are into Nandabuzz. Takes it. Thank you very much. So I might just find out, fire off a Shadow Bone into the Araquanid and a knockoff into also the Araquanid. Do not care. You can take out that. Do not even care, but that works well for me, because now I if he KOs one of my Pokemon, I have a safe switch in to the, um, what's it called? Uh, Togekiss. Knock off, what am I knocking off? Charty Berry. That's fine. Oh, defense drop. Nice, 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 nice. What are you taking out? Please take out my Mandy. That's fine. I'm gonna bring in the Togekiss. Who's he got in the back? He has the Horikat. So there's real no reason for me to give up my um um what's it called? Marowak. So I'm gonna swap in hit one top. You might just uh, max air stream into the spirit tomb. Um, so, oh, who do you get kills on? You got I oh, know you just got one. You got um, Araqua, Ko, um, Top. 
Oh no, not top. Um, Mandy. Sweet. This is a good trade. This is a good trade. Yes, kiss, KO, Tora. Max Geyser into top. Yes, me like it, 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 me like it. All right, so now I've got the Marowak. And the Toga Kiss at plus one speed against the Araquanid at minus one attack. And he's got Spiritomb. So I'm probably going to protect and um, max. We've got to take out this. Um... Do I think he's got a uh, Fairy Resist Berry? What's he use? He's used Willow. So he hasn't got AV. Okay, I'm gonna max star four. Max star four into the spiritone. Now I use detect. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck yes. Knew we had to protect it. Try and get some snarls off. And he's got the Roselli berry. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So next turn, I'm gonna double into the um, double into the Araquanid with Shadow Bone and Max Airstream. Oh, even better. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we'll Shadow Bone here and Max Airstream here. Yes. Yes. Kiss. KO. Araqua. And I'm pretty sure Whack should KO. Tomb. Awesome. And Araqua. KO. Um, top. Awesome. Oh, happy with that. Hoo wee! Yeah. Had to get rid of that, that sp or at least chunk down that spirit tomb before I could go into that Araquanid. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's go again. So what's he got? So Tora Cat, we don't know. Nido King had the uh, psychic resist. And it's physical, that makes sense, to get the Earthquake off. Um, Spirit Tomb was Roselli. And Araquanid was Charty. Don't know what, he didn't bring Magnezone and he didn't bring Latios. This was just fake out. Parting Shot. Uh, Snarl, Foul Play, and Wisp. Okay, so what's his, um, like he really can't bring um, Latios. So I think I bring the same thing because he's going to have to replace something with, um, oh, what's it called? Um, replace something uh, for the Magnezone. So what didn't do much? Spiritomb... Nidoking didn't do a lot of work. 
Toro Cat did a lot of work. Arachnid did a lot of work. Spiritomb did okay. Like, I think he's either got to play the Nidoking King better and bring the Magnazone as well, or bring the Magnazone instead of the Nidoking. King. Because I really, I have to prioritize that Nidoking. King. Because it just does so much work into my team. We know it's a physical Nido King. Toracat, Araquanid. We know it has Protect. Which is important. The fact that I'm not going to be activating any weakness policies is nice. So yeah, I wonder what he replaced there. So I might just go Protect and Snarl. So the Magnazone didn't have a... Uh, air Balloon or anything. So I'm thinking he's gonna do like Protect Earthquake. Could be a good... Or maybe high. Throat chop. Oh, good move. Good move. Oh. Oh, Sheer Force. Sheer Force prevents Throat Chop. Oh, damn. Cool. Um, so I might go Hitmontop and fire off a uh, Bone Rush into the Magna Zone. Should do big damage. Big-ish damage. It's not the strongest move in the world. Probably a knockoff might have been nicer, actually. Yeah. Oh, well. Junito King brings out Toro Cat. Okay. Intimidate. That's not very nice. Maybe if he's come back, we will bring out the hit on top. Okay. Araquanid. Okay, good one. That does nothing. What's negative nothing? Okay. Um. Fake out a knockoff. Seems pretty good. So we got rid of the spirit turn for the Magna Zone. Knock off. This is going to be not bad damage. It's actually pretty, pretty terrible. Oh, it's special. Special. Ah. Oh. Damn. I just fire off a close combat and a uh, snarl. Damn, special Araquanid. I did not see that coming. Well, that's fine. So we did think Wide Guard was coming. That's not going to be nice.
That was nice though. That was real nice. I'm going to fire up a helping hand and go, um... Yeah, Brave Bird. Let's try and chomp this, um, Haraquin in. So I just need to get my, um... My Togekiss in safe. Yes! Yes! Mandy! Mandy with a kill! Oh, that's nice. That is really, really nice. Nido King. Okay, so I'm pretty safe to go um, Marowak. And, um,. I might go Bone Rush into the Magna Zone. Oh, Mandy, where have you been all my life? Really happy with the team I brought today. I was really nervous, um, but he's gone to a lot of defensive, like resist berries. So um, there's no way he goes. Ooh, is he going? Is he going big, big Nido? Going big Nido? He's going Big Nito! Maybe I should go Big Mandy, that'd be cool. Nah, he's got Intimidate. I need to go Big Kiss. Max Quake. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, King. KO. Um, Whack. Come on, Bone Rush. And he's got a Shooker, yeah. Shooker, Flash, Protect. Ah, oh, you jerk. Cool. Bring the top. Triple Axel here, and a knockoff here. Something's going down. On my side, that is. If not both. Things going down. That's cool. Get a big triple axle off. I think I'm pretty safe to go Max Kiss and Airstream and Fake Out into the Toracat.
maybe um helping hand and max air stream into the Toro Cat. This isn't looking great. It's not looking super bad. Um, and King KO um, Mandy as well. Nothing. Yes. Yes! Alright, we're good. We are good. Um, so Kiss, KO, Tora. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, after two losses. Well, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. But geez, after two losses. Okay, and his max is over. Yes! Oh, I felt like this was more my style of play, really slowing the game down compared to what I've been doing in the past weeks. So I'm going to go here, and we're going to go Max Airstream into the Nido King. Let's go. Let's go. Nido. Nido Gorn. Yes. Kiss. KO. King. Come on top. Come on top. And top KO'd zone. Oh, that last game was uh, whew, very close. All right. Well, thanks to Ryan. He's one of the other mods at the Great Lakes uh, Draft League. Um, so that was a very good game. I'm, I'm glad I brought the team I did. I was kind of um and ahhing about it a bit, but I think the... Um, the combo of being able to cycle between the Hitmon top, the uh, Alolan Marowak, and the and my two birds um, was the, was the right play. All right, guys, that's it. That's me done for the day. I shall see you all next time. I shall see you all next time. And